Dear students, uh, today I am posting my next video on application of electronic engineering in which I am uh, going to tell about anti-brake lock system that is ABS system. So let's start anti-lock brake system that is ABS. Now uh, what is this ABS first we will see by a definition and I will explain. An anti-lock braking system ABS is a safety anti-skid braking system used on aircraft and on land vehicles such as cars, motorcycles, trucks and buses. ABS operates by uh, preventing the wheels from locking up uh, during braking, thereby maintaining attractive contact with the road surface and allowing the driver to maintain more control over the vehicle. Okay. Now here, one thing we have to keep in mind is, say if the system, if your vehicle is not having ABS, if anti-lock braking system is not there, it is only a normal braking system, then if you are going in a speed or if you are on a icy road or snow road or slippery road, and suddenly you apply the brake, okay, suddenly you apply the brake, the wheels on which the brake is applied get locked and because suddenly the wheels lock, the vehicle skids. Now skidding of vehicle can take place. Similarly, in the same case, if you apply anti-lock braking system, anti-lock means it will not allow the wheels to get locked. So it is called as anti-lock anti-lock braking system now in that what will happen is there will be a electronic control unit and the brakes will be applied according to the uh, commands from that unit and the brakes will not suddenly lock the wheel or uh, gradually optimally slowly touch and go type of a method and in that it is going to apply the brake so that the wheel don't get locked and the brake is optimized, a nice brake is also applied and the vehicle stops without skidding, okay. Vehicle stops without skidding. So locking of the wheel, sudden locking of the wheel is not there in anti-lock braking system. It is not locking the wheel, but it is slowly, it has modulate the brake such a nice way that it can break the system, apply the brake and stop the vehicle without making the vehicle skid, okay. Now if you see some type of uh, ABS in cars, some example I have shown here. So this you can see, you can apply this brake system and this disc is there. Okay, so slowly it will get, uh, it will apply the brake and remove, apply brake and remove and optimally it can make the brake implied, okay. Next, if you see the module, uh, uh, simple module if you want to see on ABS. Then if you are having four wheels of a car, so these are the front wheels. This is the first wheel, this is second wheel, and this is the third wheel, this is the fourth wheel, okay. Now in this you can have a ABS module, okay. That ABS module is going to control your brake control unit, okay. And then the brakes will be applied. Now how exactly this is done, we will see in the next diagram. So the ABS has the following components. The names of the main uh, components in ABS are wheel speed sensors, valves, pumps, and controllers, okay? So here, if you see, now in this diagram, you can understand what is happening. Now in this, we, we have taken the front two wheels. This is the first wheel, say, this is the second wheel. This is the third wheel, and this is the fourth wheel, okay? Now here you can see, on this wheel, you concentrate on this third wheel, okay. Now here you can see there is something called as wheel speed sensor A. So here you can see the blue point. Now it has become red. This is your A. A means what? It is wheel speed sensor. So there is a sensor which is going to sense the speed of the wheel how it is going okay how it is moving whether it is going fast or going slow whatever it is the wheel speed sensor will be there okay 
Now that wheel speed sensor will give an information to this unit, which is called as ABS control module. That is B, B we have marked as B, that is this one, ABS control module. So it is a electronic module which will get the information from the wheel sensor about the wheel status okay then that module will give the command to something called as hydraulic motor and pressure release valves which is named as CO here so this is your hydraulic motor and pressure release valves which will make the brakes apply okay and then you see there is a brake pipe leading which is going from C to D. Okay, so here you, here you can see there is a brake pipe leading going from C to D. Okay, so brake pipe leading is called as D. So here, here you can see from here you can see that this is a application which is going to go to the wheel this is the application which is going to go to the wheel so here you are going to apply the uh, optimized brake or the uh, correct brake or the brake which will not lock the wheel and it will not make the vehicle skid okay so that was your brake pipe leading to a caliper it was named as d so here the last one brake pipe leading to a caliper okay so that was your d part so here you can see this is d part and here in the hot diagram you have shown that this is your d part this is the pipe which is going to apply the brake okay so mechanically brake is applied and the wheel will get optimally braked this the brake is optimized it is the best brake which will not lock the wheel but it will make the wheel stop gradually and then in that the vehicle is not going to have a skidding type of effect then if you go to see the same thing in a block diagram abs block diagram also you can show in that also the first point what you have to have is the wheel speed sensor that is status of the wheel status of the wheel speed and then it will be given to the anti-lock brake system in which your angular velocity will be first converted into angular acceleration here and then the abs logic will work out with this where you have to enable the system and then that will give a command to your modulation walls okay that is the brake control unit and then that hydraulic pressure will be released and then brakes here here you can see the brakes are applied now here mechanical brakes will be applied here this is your mechanical brakes and then that information again will go to the wheel okay so here this cycle will go on a sensor on the wheel will give the information to the abs module about the wheel status abs module will give the a command to modulation walls which will release the pressure and the brake is applied on the wheel back okay so how the brake is applied what is the timing of the brake what is the procedure when it is touching and going touching and going okay so how that optimized the best brake is applied without locking the wheel so it is called as anti-lock brake it is called as anti-lock brake because if you give a sudden brake it can lock the wheel and it can make the vehicle skid but in this case it will not lock the wheel it will see that the wheel stops but without locking and the vehicle will not skid okay so if you see the explanation for wheel speed sensor the anti-lock braking system needs some way of knowing when a wheel is about to lock up so some software some way some information should be given some signal should be given to the braking system to know when a wheel is about to lock up the speed sensors which are located at each wheel or in some cases in the differential provide this information so mostly the speed sensors will provide this type of signal this type of information to the anti-brake locking system okay. then what are walls so walls play an important role over here there is a valve in the brake line of each brake controlled by the abs 
on some systems the valve has three positions in position 1 the valve is open pressure from the master cylinder is passed right through to the brake in a position 2 the valve blocks the line isolating that brake from the master cylinder this prevents the pressure from rising further should the driver push the brake pedal harder in position 3 the valve releases some of the pressure from the brake so it is your touch and go type of procedure in which the brake will be applied in a best way without locking the wheel then the role of the pump since the valve is able to release pressure from the brakes there has to be some way to put that pressure back that is what the pump does when a valve reduces the pressure in the line the pump is there to get the pressure back up then the fourth one was your a controller the a controller is a, a computer in the car it watches the speed sensors and uh, controls the valves so this was the this was the a description a description of the four units four important units in your abs block diagram then how does it work we'll see ABS is a part of an overall stability system a commonly known as electronic stability control which monitors the wheels under heavy braking this is important whenever a sudden brake is applied it will monitor the wheel and it will apply the brake such that the wheel won't get locked the wheels are not locked and the vehicle does not skid and the vehicle stops also okay so each wheel has a sensor attached to it if the intelligent sensor detect that a wheel is about to lock up and stop moving the system will release the brake the release is only for a moment abs then a continuously and repeatedly applies that optimum braking pressure to each wheel meaning the system will brake just enough to not lock the wheels this is very important the system will apply the brake but will not lock the wheel okay so it is called as anti lock brake system the anti lock system helps the driver remain in a control of the vehicle rather than bringing the car to a stop if or reduces the risk of skidding this is why it's important to remember that the car's braking distance may increase now braking distance may increase but it is avoiding skidding okay so if you keep a driving ahead straight into an obstacle the car may not stop in time even if your instincts dictate otherwise it's a common misconception that abs helps reducing stopping distance okay so there will be a a compromise between the brake applied on the spot and the little distance what the vehicle might go ahead because of optimization control so it might not lock immediately and skid but it will not uh, it will not skid but it will just move little ahead and apply the brake. okay so there one type of a compromise you have to accept and that will give you a, a good result where skidding of vehicle is avoided okay now how effective is it certain older models can be bought without abs and some people do prefer not having it but it's a very effective safety feature cars fitted with abs are less likely to be involved in fatal crash ABS decreases the chance of frontal collision on wet and dry roads. Cars with ABS rarely stray from the road ahead. It's worth keeping in mind that ABS works best on solid stable surfaces and your experience on ice, snow or a gravel can be different. Okay? So ABS no doubt it will not make your vehicle stop exactly on that position it might go a little ahead little ahead. but it will give you that optimized brake and that brake will be very good so that your vehicle does not skid okay and you can stop your vehicle so abs modulation of brake that is anti lock brake system thank you students